Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of Facts and Realities of Education. We continue in our quest to prepare our students for final year exam, for certificate exams. As we know, the academic year is gradually coming to an end. As we started last week, in this edition of the program, we'll be talking about ways or means of improving learning habits, learning patterns. So in this edition of the program, we'll be talking about a program, a project that is being put in place to make sure that we groom our learners to grow, to develop their learning skills, to develop their mastery of the English language. You know, whatever the subject we are studying, maybe chemistry, physics, mathematics, English rules and grammatical rules are being applied in all these subjects. It must not necessarily be English language that we expect to employ, to put into practice our use of the language itself. We all accept that we use English as a second language. We are not natives, like they say. We use English as a second language and we may have it with some uh, deficit, with some shortage of, uh, of words, but then that is not excuse because English is one of the national languages that Cameroon use. In this edition of the program, we are talking about a program. It's called Spelling B, National Spelling B. And with me in the studio is uh, the national coordinator who will be telling us what the program actually it is, what it is all about, how it evolves. All this, he will tell us. Good evening, Mr. K Mr. Kwena Kaleb. Good evening, Mr. Mange. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure having you in this edition of the program. Pleasure is all mine. Now we are talking about uh, spelling B, and we know experience is uh, showing, proving to us that uh, educational standards in Cameroon are dropping as the years go by. And experts tell us that the reason for this is the poor mastery of, it's not necessarily the concept of the subject per se, but the poor mastery of the language in which we use to pass across or to learn these uh, subjects. Now we want to talk about spelling B. What is the spelling bee all about? Well, the, the spelling bee is a, is a contest. It's a pedagogic contest that involves uh, spellers studying a list of words mm -hmm. and spelling those words orally. Okay. And now during that um, exercise as well, to learn how to speak in public, how to uh, work in a team, mm -hmm. and how to interact with the, with the mates. Okay, we call it the spelling B, like we have it, spelling B, like a B, which is an insect. Why B? Well, I, from what we understood, it, it, it started in the United States okay. and, and in the U.S. A, a B back in the years was a, a gathering that brought people together so that they could uh, have a good time and uh, exchange. The, the, there was what they, they could call a, a harvest B. Mm -hmm. Okay, but today... Um, it has gone a lot more further to be just a, a gathering exercise. Okay. The B today, I believe, is called spelling and B because the spellers have to think very fast. Mm -hmm. They have just one word, uh, one minute when they are supposed to spell a word. Mm -hmm. And we all know the insect that is called a bee. Mm -hmm. It's a very fast insect. It can uh, visit uh, thousands of flowers in one day in order to collect nectar. Okay. So spelling bee is that exercise where children have to spell words that are given to them in a very limited time. Okay. Just like a bee moves very fast. Okay. And because we were speaking, we cited uh, the U.S. Has it got any link uh, with the beginning of uh, spelling bee, the origin? Yes, of course. The spelling bee started in the United States uh, way back in 1925. Mm -hmm. It was started by a uh, a newspaper agency and later on Scripps um, bought over the rights to organize the spelling bee okay. and uh, Scripps has been organizing the national spelling bee in the United States for the past 90 years now of course and uh, the project was brought to Cameroon by the US Embassy in Yaoundé mm -hmm. they, they had an English language outreach program so they brought in the project and in 2014 Douala took part in the program and it's been ongoing um, from that time until now Okay, now we want to find out what is the objective of the spelling bee? What is it? What is the aim? Well, you know, um, English language today has become the language of um, the world. Mm -hmm. It's a language of business, it's a language of communication, it's a language of science. Everything that is produced in the world today is, first of all, produced in English, English language yeah, before right. it's translated into another language. Yes. Um, 
unfortunately many people don't have a good mastery of English language mm -hmm. and we know that language emanates from vocabulary and grammar now in Cameroon we live in the context where we have two languages and um, unfortunately the English language is not as strong as it has to be so the spelling bee is that project that is aimed at helping our learners to be better at vocabulary and grammar okay. in English and if if they're good at this then we're definitely sure that their speaking and their writing will be better okay and that was of course that's why we have our our theme of discussion this evening is improving study pattern that is it would I wanted us to, to make a link create a link between improving our our, our grammatical uh, you know power yes yes and our study pattern I think there is a very strong link mm -hmm. between the two of them um, back back then when I was in school uh, one of my teachers used to tell us that English language is the airport of all other subjects, subjects actually because at the end of the day when you go in for the exams you have to express your thoughts in, in English, the English language actually. so you can be good at math you can be good at um, chemistry, chemistry physics, physics biology when it comes to the written part you need to write in English and if your language is poor then you're sure not to make it in the exams so I think there is a very strong link between uh, study patterns and the language mm -hmm. because we at the end of the day we need to use the language to express ourselves and if it's weak then our uh, tests will be weak as well we are certainly heading for, for hard times anyway we look at the what is your target what is the target of spelling B um, we want to improve the standards of English language mm -hmm. in Cameron mm -hmm. we want to help students to be amazing public speakers because uh, in my experience as a teacher of English yeah, language... Yeah, we must mention that you are equally a teacher besides being the national coordinator of spelling bee. Exactly. Okay. Uh, teaching English language mm -hmm. for almost a decade now. Okay. And um, what we experience in class, especially the kids who come from uh, primary school into secondary school, is mm -hmm. that the level of English, the handwriting and the, the expressions is really, really low. So the objective is to help young Cameroonians to be uh, better of an English language at a very lower level mm -hmm. so that we are sure that when we get to um, college, we get to university, we, we have young Cameroonians who can not just speak language and write it, but they can manipulate it. Okay. Now, when I, when, when I talk of target, uh, actually, we are looking, we talk about uh, studying, we talk about learning, we know that we are talking about schools. Yes. Now, I, when, when, I, when, when I was looking about this spelling B uh, uh, pro, pro project, you've been dealing with secondary schools, and now you're moving down to the primary section. Why? Is it, is it that necessary? Yes, I think it is definitely necessary because, um, you know, children who come to college are from the primary. Mm -hmm. And what we notice in the past five years is that all the children we receive in secondary school, we need to start teaching them basic rules of grammar vocabulary again, okay. which means there's a problem. Mm -hmm. Now, children who are in secondary school who have taken part in the spelling bee, and most of them are now in... Um, high school some of them have left high school university mm -hmm. when we meet them later and they tell us how amazing the spelling bee experience was because he helped them to become better at speaking reading and writing so we think that to avoid um children leaving the primary school into secondary school with that difficulty mm -hmm. we should start where the problem is which is in the primary school okay so we get there we train the coaches how to train the spellers we train the spellers how to study how to uh, uh, spell these words and use them in context mm -hmm. right from that very young age mm -hmm. and we are sure that when they get to secondary school and they take part in the B again the both experiences will help them to be Improve. better exactly okay do you have sessions also with teachers with primary school teachers or with teachers generally yes do you work um, in with them sure before we um, embark on the spelling bee every year we have what we call a uh, uh, an outreach meeting mm -hmm. so every year there are schools that come in for the first time mm -hmm. and there are schools that have been taking part in the spelling bee like for the past five or five years or so mm -hmm. so whether you're new or old we always have a training session okay we look at the objectives together we train the the the, the, the coaches on how they'll be training their children 
we train them um, on word origin because most of those words in English language they are originated either from French, or from Latin, Latin, from German, actually. English. So we train them how they're going to help their spellers to recognize words that have a Latin or German origin. Mm -hmm. And after that training, we send them back now to the schools to implement it. Okay. And then when you do a kind of follow up, do you follow up to find out how, what they, 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 do you get feedback? from those uh, teachers or those uh, trainers? Definitely. Mm -hmm. um, once we finish the meeting and we release the words that all the spellers will use for the, for the, for the, the game, competition, yes, yeah. um, we give them like a month or two to implement the rules that we talked about, the training that we, we gave them. Mm -hmm. And we come back after two months Okay. We, we signal them that, okay, we're going to pass by your school, so, 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 and so day and time. Mm -hmm. We go there. We see how much work they've done. We evaluate the spellers. We spell with them. And then we try to evaluate how much work needs to be done. We give them the support that they need before the event. So, okay. like yesterday, I was around uh, a few schools in, in, in the territory. I met the coaches. I met the, the head teachers. I met the spellers themselves. Mm -hmm. And I, I worked with them, and I got to know what the difficulties they're facing. And so I try to put them up to date and talk to the coach what they can do in order to help them to be better prepared for the for the event. Okay. And, and as you have been moving in the schools, wh wh what is the, th how do you get the, 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 the how, how receptive are the schools, the, 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 the spellers, the, 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 the trainers, how receptive are they? How enthusiastic are they about the, 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 the project itself? Well, I must say I am very thrilled okay. by the response. Um, this is the very first edition of the the primary junior primary spelling bee that we're having. When is it coming up? Um, it's on Friday, 24th of May, 2019. Mm -hmm. Starts okay. at 1 p.m. prompt. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. And it's going to take place at um, Duval International School. Here which in is Duala. Just, yes, just around Hôpital General. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, so when I get to the schools, like when I, I got there yesterday, I met the spellers. Most of them, the list of words, they, they had like um, 900 words to study mm -hmm. for a start. Because the secondary guys have about 2,000 words to study. And I it see. gets, it gets, you know, it gets tougher every mm -hmm. year. We add more words. Mm -hmm. So... I met spellers who have already gone over the list two times. They know the words, they already? know the spelling, they know the context where to use it, they know the meaning of the words, and that's the objective of the spelling bee. Okay. So the kids are super, super excited about the spelling bee that's going to take place next weekend. That's yes. good. That's a good. Uh, that, 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 that's a good signal and right. kind of booster for you people who are working on it. Now, what does it take to participate in this project? Well, for this first edition of the junior. Uh, National Junior Spelling Bee. It's it's pretty much free for every for every school that wants to take part. Mm -hmm. um, schools just had to. I mean, it was because we were talking already. Can somebody stay? Um, no, right now it's not possible to to uh, register anymore. Okay, but it there was is that it was possible months ago. But okay, it's not possible anymore. So schools that would like to take part would have to do so next year. We'll open the registration season in November. Mm -hmm. So any school that like to take part will um, definitely do so during that time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I, 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 by then, there will be an amount to be... To yes. Um, see, when the Spelling Bee project came to Cameroon, it was brought in by the American Embassy. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the four years that we worked with them and they gave us some training, they used to finance the program. Mm -hmm. So we didn't have any issues with that. Now, the objective was to train Cameroonians and hand over the project to them. Mm -hmm. Now, it was handed over to Camelta, and the literal chapter has been organizing it. And we don't have funds from the embassy anymore. So we have to lobby for funds from companies, from well wishers, from sponsors, from sponsors as mm -hmm. well. Like this year, we're actually working from um, the resources that men of goodwill are helping us out and what we sat down as members of Camelta to come up with because we know that this project is important mm -hmm. for children in our society. And so we are working from our pockets this year but next year schools that would like to take part will pay a token mm -hmm. it's just a token it's not really um, a registration per mm -hmm. se you mm -hmm. just pay a token that will enable us to run it really good like we want it to be okay if, if, if a school maybe do you go out looking for schools 
to participate, introduce it to them because this is another form of communication that we're trying to do here. Right. Yeah, do you go out to schools trying to find out or introducing the project to them or do they come to you? Well, some schools come to us mm -hmm. when they go to our Facebook page or to our YouTube channel. Okay. They call us and tell us they want to participate. Mm -hmm. um, other times, we attend forums that brings together head teachers and principals of schools. Okay. Like uh, two weeks ago, I was at a seminar that was organized by the Secretariat of Education. It brought together principals of schools in the literal. Mm -hmm. I talk about literal, I mean the Kong Samba idea. And yes, all. yes. So I was invited to give a, a short talk there, okay. and I talked about the spelling bee, and most of them got to know it, mm -hmm. and they told me, well, we're waiting for you in Kong Samba. Mm -hmm. So we used platforms like those to communicate about it. Okay. Uh, but we have many people know about the B already. Many schools know about it. It's true that some schools don't. Okay. So what we'll do next year is we'll go to the schools. Okay. We'll go to the schools and talk to them about it, show them videos of what it's all about. If mm -hmm. they're interested, mm -hmm. they can register within the registration period. period yeah. Yes. Okay, and then we're talking about this kind of competition, right, that brings together a number of schools. What is the take home? What do those, do they, do those who participate? Well, that's, uh, that's an amazing question. Mm -hmm. uh, when the embassy used to organize it, there used to be a cash prize uh, that went to the, the winner and the runner-up, mm -hmm. the second place. Uh, later on, uh, they changed it to giving something material. Okay. So in relation to the studies. In relation to the studies. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for the past two years, we've been offering tablets like like this one okay. to the spellers, and um, we offer books because it's about English language, mm -hmm. and you have to read uh, to actually. get vocabulary. So we offer storybooks, especially dictionaries, latest dictionaries that they can use mm -hmm. to, um, to improve their vocabulary and grammar. Now for this year. We're looking forward to uh, the same. We're going to have books offered to us by some local uh, publishers mm -hmm. um, in the territory. And um, we're looking forward to also to a cash prize offered by one of the well-wishers who is very passionate about the spelling bee. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, are they, 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 they call them the prizes. Are they for the individual or for the school? Or, or it depends on them to arrange it? Um, no. The, the, Does we, it bear the name of the, 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 the speller in question or the, the institution? We offer prizes to the spellers, to all the participants. Okay. Then we offer special prizes to the first five. Then some other special prizes to the first two. So the winner and the runner up. Mm -hmm. And then the schools that took part, we offer prizes to the head teachers of those schools as well. And uh, some special guests that are around, we as well offer uh, prizes to them. Ah, uh, okay. Anyway, we would be getting to know more but because since it, it will be an event that will take place here in Douala, DBS will certainly be there to have the event. But this is not the first time we are saying it. Like we have it in the pictures there. We've had some editions that had passed. How would you evaluate them? Uh, the past editions have been amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can say that for sure. Uh, when it started back in 2014, the crowd was smaller. Mm -hmm. And not not so many people knew about the spelling bee, but um, it was it it has always been successful, and it has always been um, a regular event that is uh, shot by a, a TV station, mm -hmm. put on the news, and in, and then it's forgotten. Mm -hmm. Now we've improved and moved away from that mm -hmm. to making it a TV uh, program. Okay. So last year it was aired on TV. It was shot and edited into different episodes mm -hmm. and we're going to do the same thing again this year mm -hmm. so we have a, um, a video an audiovisual uh, company a friend of ours who's helping out mm -hmm. to film the video okay. they're going to edit it as well and it's going to be on our Facebook page on our YouTube channel and it's equally going to be on TV okay. we're still looking at which TV mm -hmm. will air it for us it's going to be eight episodes okay. from the preparations okay. till the finals mm -hmm. Okay, we we hope that we, we we hope to be getting into it now. But is this a project that is looking forward to you know gaining grounds? What are your, what are your perspectives? What are your projects like? What is the future like? <clears throat> well, in the future, we 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 really want as many Cameroonians to take part in this project as possible because we we've seen the benefits, mm -hmm. especially from those who are now in high school and who took part in the spelling bee. So already we've established the primary school spelling bee. 
what we'll do next is we will establish a spelling bee for French speaking Cameroonians, okay. but in English. Mm -hmm. They're going to be spelling in English. Now, the level of difficulty of their words will be reduced, reduced compared okay. to the English speaking kids. So, mm -hmm. <clears throat> next year, we're going to have students in Cinquième and Quatrième mm -hmm. taking part in the spelling bee. Mm -hmm. And um, we're, looking, we're going to look at the, the primary school kids also in the French subsystem of education taking part in the spelling bee. Now, we're taking it out of Douala. So we're going to go to Yaoundé. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to Balfasam. We're going to go to um, Kong Samba and a few other regions in the country. Now, the kids who would take part in the in in the in the contest mm -hmm. in those regions we're going to select the 10 the, the 10 best those who come out 10 best spellers mm -hmm. and they will be invited to Douala to compete for the interregional spelling bee that's going to be the first of its kind okay yes the first interregional spelling bee okay if i understand i want us to talk about sponsors before before we get to sponsors uh when you were speaking you said you put together your resources with a few partners, sponsors, and you see how you are going to run the show. Right. Now, how do you get the, the, these sponsors? Do you go looking, lobbying to get them, or do they come to you? How do you get them? Well, you you know, um, unfortunately in our country, it's, it's a little difficult to get sponsorship. Mm -hmm. I, I've tried that uh, for the past two years we've been organizing. It's not very easy. You knock at a door of a company. It's even difficult to meet the marketing manager or the general manager. Mm -hmm. So usually we just talk to friends and family that, okay, we have this project. Y you know, if you know someone who would like to sponsor it, you know, just let us know. Mm -hmm. But we've been around to companies and I can tell you, t this, this edition, I printed about 10 uh, sponsorship packages and mm -hmm. went to companies and I get response to none. None of them. Okay. Last year, it was a little okay because we had a sponsor, but it was someone who knew someone. Mm -hmm. And, you know, <laughs> so it's, it's, it's rather unfortunate mm -hmm. that uh, for a program as enriching as this one, which mm -hmm. has a larger vision, it's difficult to get uh, funds to, to run, to run it. But, but, but we also think that maybe because it is still, you know, gaining ground, it has not had that popularity that it deserves, given its importance. I think so. But for the few sponsors who are already there, what is their, I don't want to call it benefit, what is their, you know, what is their, what is their profit? You okay. Know, what do they gain? Well, the sponsors who were there, first of all, according to what they told us, mm -hmm. they're very passionate about uh, change. Mm -hmm. Because English is, is an issue in the country. They're That's passionate true. about change. They're passionate about supporting quality education. Mm -hmm. That's the first drive they have. Now, secondly, um, we have the numbers. Last year, we had 900 uh, learners, 900 people in attendance, parents, students uh, from different schools who attended the last edition of the Spelling Bee. So, mm -hmm. It's gaining ground. We have the numbers. It's a good platform for companies to communicate. Okay. Uh, yes. So that's that's what we have. We mm -hmm. have the numbers, and it's children from national and international schools. Okay. So it's easier to put across your message depending on the kind of your products. Logos. Yes. That's mm -hmm. your your. Because when I was looking, I, when I was looking at the images. Then when I was looking at those images, I could see some logos of some companies. Exactly. Okay. So yes. it was a platform for them to... For them to communicate. Mm -hmm. And um, this year again, we are printing all our promotional materials this week so that we, we finish up with it. So if uh, anyone is watching right now, any sponsors watching or anyone who is passionate about it and mm -hmm. would like to communicate on this platform... You just give us a ring, and uh, we can include your logo. Mm -hmm. um, you can brand the How event we venue as well. How do we get to you? Perhaps your number. Um, yes, mm -hmm. uh, the phone number is um, six seven seven zero one five zero three four. Six seven seven zero one five zero three four. Three four. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or you can write us at national underscore spelling b mm -hmm. at yahoo dot com. Mm -hmm. yes. and, then, and then they will get to you. you will get now, to now, us. now you, it, it's an initiative that needs. You know, it, it, there's no way teachers can do without. Are you trying to reach out to other schools? F what I want to find out is, do you work in collaboration with, is it mission schools, government schools, lay private schools, or schools in general? We work with schools in general. 
because the objective is to reach kids and help them to benefit from the project. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. So we go to all schools, lay private schools, government schools, mission schools, any structure that's a school that mm -hmm. brings together children who come to learn, mm -hmm. we get there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now, we would be, for time constraint, we'll be moving out then. But then before we go, how prepared are you for the upcoming event that will be taking place on the 24th? Um, we are 90% ready because okay. we have this week and then we have probably up to Wednesday mm -hmm. next week. So we are wrapping up with the promotional materials, communication materials like the backdrops, the t-shirts mm -hmm. for the spellers. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some well-wishers who have access to hold on a little bit so that they can confirm if they will be in or not and we can add their logos on the promotional okay, okay, materials. Okay. Um, the list of words is being worked, is, is being, um, worked on mm -hmm. by the, the Department for Research and Innovation because we have a department like that. Their, their job is to get words according to the levels, according to the classes. Mm -hmm. They're doing their job. And we've come to the media. We've gone to several media houses. They're going to be there to cover the event. Mm -hmm. We're going to be honored by the presence of the principal officer of the U.S. Embassy, okay. Ms. Uh, Sita Chakwarti. I hope I pronounce her well, <laughs> her name pretty well. We're going to have the regional delegate of secondary education okay. uh, there as well as pedagogic inspectors of mm -hmm. education. So, yes, we are 90% ready. We just have some finishing touches to do. Okay. Then let, 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 let me come back to this other point again. Uh, the levels that you work with, do you have a maybe you're working with level two because you know in primary school you're divided to level one level two and level three mm. do you work with level three or level two or it depends on the school to choose who is our bright speller that can represent our school we work with levels okay. for example in the secondary school um there's there must be either in from two or from three okay and the primary school there must be in your in your six That's or in class six That's level three Yes. Mm -hmm. Why? Because uh, they have a level of maturity. That's why. Right. And uh, it's easier for us to transmit those uh, skills we want to transmit to them, mm -hmm. especially for the fact that we have um, a motivational speaker who will be coming in to talk to the children about passion, how to discover your passion, how to improve your study habits, how to uh, improve your public speaking skills. Mm -hmm. So it needs children who have a level of maturity. Okay. So we're working with class six mm -hmm. students in the primary and form two and three in the secondary. And then do you co-opt co teachers from those schools to work in your panel or they come and meet? You have a complete team. That's what I'm asking. Yes, we do have a team and uh, our team is made up of people who uh, their schools don't take part in the spelling bee. They are neutral people. That, that's where I was going to. Yes, they mm -hmm. are neutral people. So when it comes to the words, when it comes to other things about the bee, mm -hmm. it's even listed in the rules of the bee. You must not be a member of, of the team. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. you can't be that. Mm -hmm. Now we work with head teachers and and teachers of other schools mm -hmm. in order to help them to help the spellers. So automatically, the school where you teach is automatically, you know, disqualified? Uh, yes, if you work in a school, um, it might not be disqualified, but you will not be able to coach the school. Ah, okay. You won't coach the school. You won't do anything in relation to the school. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's so, how it is. So the rules of confidentiality are respected in this game? Very, very much respected. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anyway, it is for the good of our our kids, of our children, because once we groom them in the right way, we are sure to have responsible citizens tomorrow. Say, we are about running out because of time constraint. If you had to talk to spellers who will be there, to the coaches who will be there, what would you tell them in relation to the upcoming Spelling Bee event? Um, I would tell spellers, well, this is a week you have, probably a few days next week. Mm -hmm. Get to your words, study really hard. Don't just study the words to come and spell them. Study them, to know them, to master them, to own them and to be able to use them. For the coaches, they should do their very best to prepare the spellers for the event. And to the public in general, it's a free event, so you don't have to pay anything. Mm -hmm. Just show up there by 1 p.m. and you're going to enjoy the frenzy of spelling. And you say the venue again? It's Duval International School. Okay. It's on Friday, 24th of May, 2019. It starts at 1 p.m. Duval is beside Hôpital General. Thank you so much. Study them, study the words, own them, and be able to use them. That's the words we would like to go out with from this edition of the program. Thank you, Mr. Krina Kaleb.
my pleasure. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of this edition of the program. Next week, we'll be bringing something again, still in relation to end-of-year examination. Keep watching programs here on DBS Television. Goodbye.